Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sammy V and today we are playing the Pack Legacy Challenge. So let's hop on in and I hope you guys are excited for today's episode. All right, well, we left off with everybody in bed, which is so relaxing for me to just begin an episode with open skies, open skies. It's 11 p.m. It's the middle of summer. I wonder if what if we headed out to go find the nightly mushroom? Go take a walk in the park, perhaps. Why is he still here? Doesn't he only work till seven? Unbei Genzel, Shorksha. That's weird. Okay, well who's like, okay yeah, actually Rose has a lot of energy, but to be fair, she didn't go to school today, well Friday, because she didn't feel like it. She took a little vacation. So when Rose's energy is all the way up, we're gonna actually get her to go out to the park. Kinda cool if she could like sneak out. Yeah, I'm not seeing any option that she can sneak out at, so. I really thought that they could. It's so strange, but, oh well. Oh, Yasling has woken up from a, a, a monster under his bed. Wait, wait, why don't you, uh, why don't you talk to the monster? Maybe make some friends with him. Maybe you're gonna be okay, bud. He doesn't even want to talk to the monster. He just wants to wake up his sister, Rose. He's like, Rose, there's that monster is back under my bed. She's like, oh, she's like, I got this. I can totally do this. She's like full of energy and she feels that she's important. Oh God, Yoslang. He's waking up the whole house, oh my god. <sighs> okay, well why don't you um, spray the monster under the bed. Oh, no. Of course, he's gotta get dad up. This has turned into an absolutely nightmare. Oh, Rose is gonna go ask her dad for advice. Like, I really wanna sneak out, but... Okay, what? School is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Interesting. Like, she really does hate school. School teaches important things, or society requires school for success. I think he would maybe say it does, it is required, like, this is why you have to go. So her manners are increased. And then she is gonna go spray the monster under Yasling's bed, even though I think Cressilia may have just did that. But since everybody's awake, I'm gonna get Rose to eat a jar of pumpkin conserve and then we're gonna oh, get her to- nerd. I really wish she could Break sneak- Oh! How come we can't? Oh wait, she's spraying the monster under her bed. I think that was a glitch. Unless there was and she's just protecting little crystal bean. I think Rose is a really, really good older sister. Okay, so the way she's continuously thinking about Orion is making me wish that they could sneak out so maybe she could send her a text I, I don't I thought that they could I guess this is why we're exploring all the packs to see what's possible and what's not and how to do it all right well now that she is inspired I'm gonna get her to head on over to the park uh, all alone and see if maybe she can find our mysterious mushroom that we're looking so hard for if I don't find it this time I think I might just give up <laughs> I don't know where else it would be, honestly, but we're gonna give it a shot. So, Rose is gonna go out for a little walk in the rain. I know that doesn't really make much sense, but she's gonna go see what she can find. All right, so we actually gotta leave the game unpaused in order for the mushrooms to begin their spawning. There's some here. Let's begin the mushroom picking. Oh, there's somebody here. Aubergine cannot find the coop. Try harder, it's there. I almost think that you can't find the mysterious mushroom. Let's go uh, search Sophie the snail. Look how pretty that is. It's glowing. She's feeling inspired. She just wants to go out on a little solo adventure. Wishing her crush was there. Rose found something. Maybe she should hide something in exchange for someone else to find. Have to keep Finchwick's traditions alive or something. Okay. Oh, her poor acne. That's cute. Taking some cute pics with Sophie. So what did we find? Whoa. I think we found a rose. 
That's kind of cute. Well, we can hide a mushroom. That's so funny. Rose found a rose. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any mushrooms other than the place that we already know. She's happy. Because she's like playing in the rain, but it is pouring now. Oh, I wonder if the nightly mushroom would be like over here. No. Okay, I got her to inspect the creature keeper house because sometimes he gives helpful tips. While most of the woods rests after the sun goes down, it's the only time to find the nightly mushrooms. Oh, so I guess we didn't have to go at night to find the mushroom, but there we are. If we don't find them in these like little batches this time, I just want to say that like I don't think they're here. Well, at least it stopped raining and at least like the rain didn't bother her. Honestly, guys, I don't know where to find them. Here's Thomas. I read online that like you can find them around here, but you know that we've looked for them quite a bit and all we find is like charming mushrooms or verdant mushrooms, but not mysterious mushrooms. So I wonder where that would be. Pancake is feeling a bit bored. Yeah, well, we have a horse toy, so I'm not sure Pancake why. Maybe he misses Rose. We should probably head back home. Okay guys, I'm starting to think that the nightly mushroom is maybe like something we get from helping the locals because, uh, or sorry, the mystery mushroom. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think it isn't here. Oh, she got super confident. She's not too tired. I wonder if she can just eat some mushrooms real quick. And then maybe invite our crush over and hang out with her here, you know, have like a little morning chat in the park. Besides, Rose does want to have some fun and maybe we can like have some fun in a bush or something if you know what I mean. Okay, so she immediately wants to, oh, listen to Orion's question. <gasps> what do you think Orion's going to ask us? Uh oh, it canceled out. She never got a chance to ask her. Well, let's whisper about crush. Like, the reason why I invited you here is because I really, really wanted to see you. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. I wonder if we should, like, invite her back to our house or something. Okay, so we're gonna travel with Orion back to home. Or we can maybe head to, like, the Gnome's Arms pub. You know, like, have some fun there. Maybe get, like, a little slice of breakfast. All right, let's head inside. Ooh, and immediately feeling Ooh. flirty. She wanted to go see a horse, but she wants to ask a crush out. Okay, well, how do we, how do we do that? Ask on date from the romantic category. It's not there. So maybe we will offer her a rose because we did just find one. It's like, look what I found when I was in the park. It's like. Girl, thank you. Oh, and that gave them a little bit of love. She's gonna do a bold pickup line. She's feeling really confident and she's so excited to see her crush. So last episode, as we saw, the love of her life, Alfonso, or at least the guy I wanted her to marry, decided that he doesn't want to be with anybody. I don't know if that's a forever thing, but it's a now thing. And honestly, Rose is kind of just, is this pancakes? What are you doing here? Did you follow us here? Oh my God. Our little like trusty bestie. I wonder if Orion left. Yeah, Orion probably had to go. Maybe she had to go to work or something. We didn't get a chance to ask her out, but we'll have to save that for later. Well, honestly, I wonder if we could like, maybe we should just head, ho head home. Because Pancakes is having a rough time. Alright, so we are going to bring Rose here. Okay, we'll get inside Rose because it is thundering out. Oh, where are you guys going? Off to sleep, hey? Because you guys were up early. Because your child... And what? Crying out? Girl, what's wrong? Unfulfilled dreams? Because you just can't make that bottle of nectar? Well, I don't think you should go do it now. She's just going to head to bed. It's like that cozy Saturday where it's like super rainy and you don't want to do anything just lay in bed that actually sounds really nice it's like cuddling each other oh i hear a little dust bun 
Jocelyn was wondering if I wanted to go over and hung out at her house. I'm gonna say, yeah, absolutely. We could tell her all about our new crush and catch up a little bit with our friend. So let's tell her a, well, we are flirty too. So maybe we could tell her about our, we could have a deep conversation with her. And we learned that Jocelyn loves the outdoors, which I feel like so do we. He's taking over the channel. He go. <laughs> Aww, they're so close. She's thinking about Rose. She's like, ew, something Ugh. stinks. Like, Rose, you smell so bad. Go use the shower. <laughs> so, um, she probably, ah, wow. We haven't been here since we were kids. Look how confident she is today. She's just on a roll. She's like, I'm going to ask my crush out today. Maybe tonight we can invite her over for dinner or something. I'm going to grab some cereal, have a bite to eat. What a nice little kitchen, hey? I like it. This is a really nice home. Bomb-wosa. What's bomb-wosa? Oh, she's so bored. <laughs> she is a teen. She is a teen. Really? You're not even going to clean up after yourself? Well, I'm not your babysitter. That's fine. I'm just going to get you to pee like a champion that you are and take a quick shower. Your friend said it was okay. <laughs> she has a deep connection. Building strong relationships with others can cut is a cause for happiness. I wonder if that's because she's super close with Jocelyn. All right, she's good to go. Okay, now we gotta find Jocelyn again. Jocelyn, maybe Jocelyn's dancing. Oh, she must be upstairs because I don't see her. Oh, there she is. <gasps> Cute room, Jocelyn. Oh, they're gonna dance together. Whoa, is that back hair? Girl, interesting choice. Man, they are such teenagers. What is, even music is this? Pop. This is such a teenager thing to do. Okay, so Rose acquired the dancing skill. Rose has busted some moves. She has unlocked some new dance moves and can show off the arm charm dance move on the dance floor. As her skill increases from dancing to a stereo or DJ booth and or practicing in front of a floor mirror, she will gain more moves. I feel like she likes it. <gasps> they got a kitty! He wants to play with a laser. Oh, I feel like we're already having a get together. I feel like we're having like a little private get together. And honestly, I think Rose would skip prom. Does Rose age up anytime soon? No, she doesn't. Down here she does. No, not our little adult girl. Chat a little bit more and then maybe we should head home. We're getting a little tired and we should have a nap before we ask Orion out. I wonder if Orion would be going to prom, probably. Oh no, it's the Finchwick Fair! We gotta go, we gotta go. It's the chicken fair, so bring your best eggs. We can win ribbons. Okay, and we can purchase unique items. Rose, you gotta go home right now. This is so important. Go get your butt home now. Okay, well, Rose is super confident. Let's get her to maybe just go upstairs in her bedroom, take a solid nap, because she's still, Still thinking about her crush. Um, okay, Crystalia is hungry, so she's probably gonna make dinner, and then that's when we when we'll invite Orion over. Ooh, let's clean out some spoiled food, I guess, because we don't want to cook with that. I suppose we could make a gourmet meal, or maybe not. We can. We can make Mal Malaysian saute. Wow. Okay. Well. I could, I don't know, I guess we could do that. That sounds pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Crystal Bean is so frightened and still wants to become friends with the ranch hand. She is so silly. She reminds me of my main character, or yeah, my main character in my Not So Very Challenge, also named Rose, who wants to be a president and wants to be super popular and get to know everybody. <laughs> oh, they're just talking about the storm oh my god we gotta go to the fair ah i forgot oh my god oh my god oh my god we have to go to the fair there's unique items we only have two hours late's going alone call out where hold on where's aubergine where is aubergine or wait yeah how come he's not even on the list Does anyone know Aubergine? Is he just gone? Gonzo? 
What the heck? Where did he go? We gotta take a chicken. Okay, we're gonna take... They're both unhappy. Is it even- is it even worth it? No. Well, maybe. We'll take Bushy Tail. Okay, call Bushy Tail out. Let's go, let's go, let's go! We don't have time! Okay, put him in your inventory. Let's go, late. Let's go! We gotta go! Oh my god. No, we're going. Leave me alone! We gotta go to the fair! Go to the fair! I'm sorry. We cannot miss this opportunity. This is Late's solo job today. Let's go. Late, submit your entries, my boy. Go put an egg in there. And then go put your chicken in there. Oh. Egg. Well, all we have is egg. What's this? Be friendly to livestock. I like that. Okay, and then submit your entry. Which one feels lucky? This one does. Let's go do it here. Yasin tried cross stitching? Okay. Okay, bushy tail. Don't do us wrong. Okay. At least he can scavenge for parts. <gasps> we gotta go shopping before the shops close. Forget it. Forget it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Late, hurry. Late. Oh my goodness. I am yelling so much. We're gonna not make it in time for both. Come on, late. <gasps> we just made it. Okay, let's see if there's anything rare that we can buy. There better be. A cow plant berry. A plantable strangely bovine fruit. Never seen that before? Let's do it. What else can we have? Fire milk. How can something be so refreshing and spicy at the same time? That's probably from feeding a spicy treat, but we're gonna get it anyway so that maybe we can learn the recipe. Let's get some more flour. I think uh, Crystalia already has cooking, uh, gourmet cooking level one. Let's see. Oh, obsidian egg. They say Charles hatched from an obsidian egg. Who's Charles? Obsidian milk? I th guess this is rare. This milk is from a midnight treats. Sparks. This milk from a midnight treat sparks something dark and angry inside of a sim. I don't know why we would get that, but we're getting it because he's like, oh, this is cool. We'll add this to the farm. Get some more sugar and some more meat. Wow, we just spent a lot of dollars. <sighs> We're gonna skip prom. Come on, don't close your doors on me. Okay, so we learned about the obsidian egg. Hens that are very happy, but have a really bad relationship with one of their owners, have a chance to lay an obsidian egg. Okay, wow, that would be really hard to obtain. Evil hens that are happy will always lay an obsidian egg. How do you have an evil hen? Hatchable obsidian eggs can hatch an evil chicken. Oh, that's how you get an evil chicken. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, this is kind of exciting. Using an obsidian egg to prepare eggs and toast, scrambled eggs, or an omelet can have interesting side effects. <gasps> Cool. Okay, and then we found obsidian milk, unpleasantly reminiscent of oil. Kind of the same thing with cows. Uh, and then the fire milk is, it's moo caliente. Must be Spanish. <laughs> Feed a cow spicy treat. Yeah, see, called it. Um, drinking fire milk is hot going down and even hotter when coming back up. You mean... Out. <laughs> Gross. Okay, well, we learned quite a bit of stuff there. Shoot. We made it. <gasps> no! How can you? How can you? No! Up my face. I am disgusted. Should we? What the heck? Should we attempt to ju ju bribe the judge? We haven't done it yet, and it is kind of part of the content, so maybe because Late's kind of in a bad mood, he's just like, can you please just help me? Well, look, I was like, who's stinky chicken is that? It would be funny if we got first place. She's gonna hate it. Nina Sanford. Absolutely not. Oh my god! How dare you challenge the integrity of the Fenchwick Fair. I am running a legitimate competition here. Okay. Well, let's view other people's uh, admissions. Let's see what kind of eggs we have here. We never actually really look around. Egg. We've got a green egg. 
And then we have egg. Ooh, everyone's looking at ours. You know. Timothy Burgesson. This chicken might win a consolidation prize. Maybe. Did this egg even come from a chicken? Oh, the kid's saying that. Oh. <laughs> kids, you know what I mean? Well, at least we're kind of joking with her. Like, ah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just having a bad day. And she's like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't appreciate you at all. Well, Late really wants to go dance. So, oh. I thought I had a stereo here. I, keep, I think I keep saying that, but it's like my other file save or something. It just feels like it should always be there for some reason. I feel like he wants to make it right with her and she's just not having it. Okay, let me help you out here late. Let's, um... Offer a Fenchwick favor. Let's give her... A small pumpkin. Be like, look, I'm so sorry. Will you accept this gift? Maybe, you know? She does seem pretty nice. She's like, a pumpkin? Okay, maybe you're not so bad after all. There, that helped. Now he's gonna go just chat with a bunch of people. Oh god, they still don't have great compatibility. Late, leave while you're ahead, please. Leave while you're ahead. He does want to go have a drink at the bar, so... It's our good old friend, Sarah. Can we hug her? No. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, uh... Just order a drink. Order favorite drink. Whatever that may be. She looks a little bored anyways. No one's here yet. Although it is 9 o'clock. <laughs> Prime time to be at the bar. I like lurts, la lurts. Late dirty pants, like, at the bottom. That's kind of cool. It like, shows that he works really hard outside, but he kind of doesn't. <laughs> what did you get? Is that a sweet and spicy or sweet and salty or whatever? Ah, what is it called? A sugar cane juice. Okay. How about we howdy introduce ourselves to Cassiel Michael. Oh, wow. Instant connection. Good for them. Don't think we can do... Any Fenchwick favors for her. But we could tell a joke about a horse, of course. The Fenchwick should be over soon anyways, and we could gather our prizes. We got a fertilizer and a participation egg competition ribbon. And a participation chicken ribbon. Darn it! You know, okay, so... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Here's the thing. Okay, guys, listen up. Listen up here. Okay, so I think it would be ideal to collect all of the vi village ri fair ribbons. However, I don't think it's really possible because, like, that would kind of mean, like, you have to make sure you have, like, the perfect variety of, like, really healthy chicken, like, like really unhealthy or, like, really unhappy chicken and then, like, a good 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 chicken and then like even if you're really uh, good quality chickens are really good quality sometimes you might not even get like first place and then there's only so many Saturdays so I just don't think it's impo like possible at least for this challenge to check off every single ribbon unfortunately but I I feel like it would like realistically be a requirement, but I don't think that we're gonna have to we be able to do that for this challenge. Okay, sorry about that. I had to do like ten thousand things just now, so I'm back. Not that you guys really noticed, but uh, where were we here? Oh yeah, coming home with a ribbon. Oh yes, and I was talking about the collection. So like I said, ideally it would make sense like if we collected that entire collection, but. I don't think that's possible unless it's over like a couple generations and that's not really what we're planning on doing so my suggestion with that would be to just do the best you can with collecting the village ribbons but like I said it's just I don't think it's really possible per generation and uh, I don't want to really stick to it I don't know what I'm trying to say but yeah um I don't even think we got a new new one like I'm pretty sure we've had these ones already 
Honestly, like, we should be trying harder, but... <laughs> it's hard running a farm. Okay, I don't know if it's too late to bring over... Ooh, it's 11.30. Yikes. Oh, but she did make the food, right? Is it too late to invite her over? Let's just find out real quick. 11.30 at night. Let's find out. Hi! Did you eat? She did. I love that. I love that little treat. When you come, leave and then come back, everyone's moods are like amazing. Orion is sleeping. <sighs> she wants to go chat with her daughter. Maybe have a little bit of mother-daughter time. Oh, in the, in the wine room. She's like, one day, honey, you're going to be taking over this legacy. Speaking of legacy, though, we should probably craft some nectar. Actually, let's buy some ingredients because I think... Did we not unlock more? I don't know. Just get like three of everything. See what we can do here. Cresselius purchased an ingredient that we counted. What the heck? Why is all of a sudden these like learning things going on? Our ranch hand! Come on! Oh, we got our palm tree! Oh, it looks so cute! Okay. Well, it's too late to invite over any friends because I was like, well, maybe Crystal Bean can like go hang out with her friends, but that's not going to be the case. Rose can't even hang out with her crush, but she does want to... I feel like that was when we used our grocery and then I forgot and I was like editing. I'm like, oh no, we didn't answer the grocery door. And like, uh, whoa, what's this? Steak. How is that not spoiled? That's literally from last episode. Unless somebody grabbed it from the fridge oh, and then put it hey, outside. Uh, oh. But, I don't know, man. I don't know, there's so much going on. <laughs> okay, let's unload the grocery delivery bag. Perfect. And then, I was thinking we could make the spicy treat. If we can. Oh, we can! We can! Let's make eight. We need the spicy mushroom and any vegetables. It'll, it'll produce obsidian eggs, fire milk, and red wool. Okay, late. Let's go. I want to see what these little kids are up to. They're just chatting. They're so close. I love these ones. And Rose just loves horses, so she's going to joke about horses as much as she can. Let's be super goofy with our brother. Oh, yes. So, new family dynamic, jokesters. Cue the punchline. Yo's and... You didn't hear that. Rose and Yaslang just can't stop tr cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Uh, family members with the jokesters family dynamic will choose to perform funny or mischief interactions with each other more often, and they'll feel extra playful when spending time together. Oh, I think that's so cool. Nosy. Okay, whoa, 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 what's this? Crisilla's dedication to rancher life pays off again. She knew just how to stomp and extracted an extra bottle's worth of nectar from this batch. Girl, it better be excellent quality, even though I can tell you it's probably not. Where is it? Oh, <gasps> girl, and we got two. Okay, I don't know why I'm being so weird, but like that's making me so excited. Thank you, Chris Cilia. We're well on our way to, oh, how do we sell nectar? Sell, select a bottle of nectar and select sell or drag here to a sim's inventory. The mysterious rancher who periodically appears around Chestnut Ridge is also willing to buy. I kind of feel like Rose's family would follow her there. Like maybe not Crystal Bean or Yaslang, but I feel like her parents would, like, you know, like follow their the first their first daughter, their first child, and like. You know, like, maybe they see, like, when they help Rose move in, maybe they'll see, like, the aspect of why Chestnut Ridge is the way it is, and that's kind of, like, what they want to do, too. Like, Cresselia loves nectar making, and maybe that's something that they'd want to do one day, is, like, move to a place that kind of has that, like, a retirement home. You know how a lot of people, when they're older, move? Like, maybe that won't be for a while until they get old, and then they can. Uh, I'm just saying, like, it would be kind of fun to, like play with that maybe they'll even like move in with Rose one day and her partner because like you know sometimes parents can do that I guess that's a thing right I don't know um various factors impact how much each bottle of nectar can sell for to increase the amount of simoleons earned from each bottle 
consider the following. Nectar price increases from not aged yet to lightly aged, moderately aged, and peaks at finely aged. Nectar price increases from poor quality to normal quality and peaks at excellent quality. Try using high quality ingredients to improve the quality of nectar. Oh, so I wonder if like we grew our own ingredients that would be better. I see. Um, making skill to craft Nectars that require more nectar making skill to craft are worth more. Okay. Improve nectar making skill to craft more difficult nectars. The mysterious rancher will pay more money for nectar that than selling it regularly will. So we have to make a hundred grand by doing that. She's really tired, but I'm just wondering if like maybe we can just make one more super quick batch. Oh, and Rose's comedy skill level two. She can now tell knock knock jokes to other sims. Those jokesters! And she's gonna go troll the forms because she's in a goofy mood. I don't know if that's something she would maybe do. You can drop out of high school? I don't think her parents would let her do it. I don't think that they would. I think they care too much. Oh, Yasling loves hanging out with his sister. I love that. Oh wow! See, Crystal Bean, again, like Rose, am I not so very serious, so go check that out. She loves fitness, so she's probably kind of getting into, you know, wanting to look good and, you know, comparing herself to her friends and stuff. So, oh, she doesn't even have a best friend? Oh no! I wonder if she can, like, maybe send a text real quick to one of her friends. Or, yeah, Anastasia! We could maybe become best friends with her. Still wants to be. Okay, wait, what is this? Go outside, be confident. How does she become confident? I don't know, but she's pretty tired and she's also independent, so let's. Um. Let's hit bump dad before we go to bed. Because actually, they're both energized, I wonder why. Like, oh, here you go, dad. Like, they're really close too, actually. All right. Crystal Bean, head to bed. Oh, Yasling already put himself to bed after kind of hanging out with Rose. Look how good Rose is. Oh, she's going to use the bush. And Pancakes is also using the bush. I think, oh, she did. And it is normal quality. That's probably, what is this? Desperate to be outside. You've been outside literally all evening. Like, why are you mad? You're fine. Can you maybe make some grape nectar then? If you're that desperate to be outside? Oh, okay. I feel like she's gonna pop in either this episode or next episode, but I only got like five minutes left of filming before my phone runs out of memory, but it's probably worked out to be perfect timing anyways, so. Oh yeah, Late's gonna go chat with his daughter. How sweet. Wait! Oh, while the animals were sleeping, I was like, we should go feed the animals the treats, but there's no point. No point. They're all sleeping. It like echoes in the bathroom. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ooh, we should plant the cowberry. I wonder... Perhaps we could do it... Does it have to be in the center? Okay, well... Oh! Can't plant a tree while there's another seed nearby taking up precious space. Okay, what can we do with these little seeds then? Maybe we'll just put them back in his inventory for now. I was just like trying to clean up stuff, but let's plant it. Let's see what goes on with that. Come on, Cressilia. You're outside. Why do you still have that? What are you complaining about? Also, I should create a wall mounted copy of these. My eyes just freaks out. She really wants to go to bed too. I'm going to put the milk in the fridge. Someone should drink that before it goes bad. Rose wanted to go outside with dad. Oh. She acquired the gardening skill. Her new skill in gardening will allow her to plant, water, weed, and harvest. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. A cowberry plant failed to germinate. Try putting it on a more open place before planting it. What? Okay. Wait, wait. You already tried that. Stop. Oh, I love that. She wants to help dad. Well, why don't you keep weeding then? Okay. So, I guess... Cow berry plant has to go on a surface that isn't soil. That makes a lot of sense. Well then, we're gonna delete this bad boy and put him right there and maybe that'll help. Maybe. 
Oops. Okay, late. It's up to you. Let's see if this will germinate Barcelona. now. Cressilia is off to bed with her excellent quality of grape nectar. You have earned it, girl. You have earned it. You are pumping out some good quality nectar lately. Awesome. I wonder how these ones are aging. Like, I wonder if we could... Okay, so it says we can collect all finely aged. Is that the maximum age? I don't remember. Okay, so I was also gonna hang these on the wall. Wow, Cressilia, you're always in such a bad mood and I don't understand why. She wants to start making money selling nectar. Well, maybe we should start soon. Rose is still outside with Dad. Oh, they're hanging out in the greenhouse. That's such a wholesome thing to do together. Is this the dragon fruit plant? Can we honestly finally splice it? That took so freaking long, you guys. Wow. Look, now we can. Now we can graft it. Okay, wait. I think we could take a cutting. Okay, late's taking a cutting. And then, oh my god. Okay, I don't know. These, there's a glitch where I can't, like, weed this. But, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna graft the, um, the snapdragon onto the dragon fruit. And then maybe get a cowberry just for fun. There's a major glitch in here. Unlock a new type of plant through grafting. What did we get? Magnificent quality. Dragon fruit, cowberry, and snapdragon. Wow, and we got an achievement. Late's ready for bed. Okay, my bad. Chrysalia, did you finish the thing I told you to finish? Also, we should put the egg away. And the meat. Okay, late. Why don't you just head upstairs and go to bed? Wow, it is 6.30. Good schedule. Good schedule. Okay, but what I wanted her to finish was this. But yeah, no, she's too tired. She's she's a pregnant mama, you know? Like, it's okay. It happens. And... Ooh, the blue egg is spoiled. I'm so sorry. What is she doing? Do sit-ups. Well, I guess we didn't get to ask out Orin, but I think we're going to do that um, in the next episode. Oh, and I wanted to move this over here. This one's so cute. It's like a little pizza. Oh, I won't actually fit there. I guess we're going to have to put it over here. This one is large hoop into fitness. Why is it pizza then? I don't know, but it definitely works in the kitchen. Rose acquired the fitness skill. It'll allow her to perform various workouts on the workout equipment. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like she would be pretty fit, especially with like horse riding all the time. Maybe, Ro Oops. Maybe Rose would take pancakes out for a nice little horse ride. If I had more time, I would give all the animals some spicy treats, but unfortunately, I do not have time. And Cressilia's in labor! Okay, well guys, I am going to end this episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what happens in the next episode. And I'll see you guys there. Okay, bye guys.